What? Granny? What? Granny! What do you want, motherfucker? Hey, are you uh, still mad at me? You fucking ain't well bet I'm still mad at you. You took my ass seven miles into area 24, and I tried to get you to turn back, but oh, fuck no. You almost got me shot. You got me handcuffed. And everything else you kept us inside, they kept us inside there for over five fucking hours. And you asked me, am I mad? Oh, the fuck I am. I am pissed, really pissed off at you. Gritty. So kiss I, I my we going, ass. I thought we were going the right way. Kiss my ass. You thought my ass, you motherfucker. And you know I had more than that sheriff and Ab could have took my ass to fucking jail. They held us there for over five fucking hours in that hot ice sun. So you kissed my ass. This is MJ Wolf with a breaking news story. Internet sensation Angry Grandma and her grandson Jake were seen being arrested in the infamous military base Area 51 this evening. They were spotted seven miles over the border of Area 51. More information to come in the next few hours. Stay safe out there and stay out of Area 51. Hey, you what? If it hits me bad on that damn plane, and I shit on myself, I'm gonna blame you for every damn bit of it. Hey, Grant. What? You think that's a train for Hogwarts? I don't know what the fuck that train's for. You think they're going to Hogwarts? Hell no. You think you're at Disneyland or someplace? I'm sitting here, Kate Happily. Fucking cigarette or nothing. Granny, you smoked on the way here. Oh, motherfucker. It's just 6.30. Her plane don't leave till 8.30. That is two more fucking hours. So that's four, five, six, almost seven hours before I can have a fucking cigarette. There it comes again. What the fuck? Ain't nobody driving that damn bike. It's going itself. There ain't nobody driving it. Son of a bitch. You ain't getting my eyes from that damn thing, I'll tell you that right now. Granny, what are you having that Dr. Pepper, Jack Daniels? Someone oh, was driving it. I wish the hell I... They wasn't nobody driving it. You could see. Don't I drop it that damn thing? Hey, what's up, you guys? We finally fucking made it here. And that was fast, wasn't it, Gran? Fuck you, Jake. You know damn well how long it took us to get here, motherfucker. Took us wow, an hour. Hour, your fucking ice. It took us over four fucking hours to get here on that damn plane. I thought the damn thing was going to fall apart. I just know that we was going to hit one of these motherfucking mountains because it kept shaking and... And every damn thing else. The turbulence wasn't that bad, Granny. The fuck it was. You just had to keep getting up and using the oh, bathroom. Oh, bullshit. I thought, using the bathroom by ice. When did I get a chance to use the fucking bathroom? Because every time I looked up, somebody was going in there taking a shit. I thought I was going to shit on myself because I couldn't get in there. Finally, the lady that works on the plane, the stewardess, she said, honey, you got to go to the bathroom? I said, yeah. She said, go on. That's how I got in the fucking bathroom. She wouldn't let nobody else by till I went. Well, the way here wasn't that bad. It was a lot of desert. Motherfuck. It took us about 
four fucking hours. I don't know what happened to the baby. Two and a half hours or so we'd have to drive to get to the B&B. Over four fucking, four fucking hours after we spent four fucking hours on that motherfucking airplane. Hey, tell them what we saw on the way here, Gran. And on the way here, we was coming through this town. And what in the fuck did we see? A donkey walking down the fucking sidewalk. There was a horse. That was a fucking donkey. Jake pulled over, we got out. That damn donkey, he had shit from one end of that damn place to the other. They wasn't nothing but donkey shit. Then when I get here, what I see, I see one going around down through there. And look at all the fucking donkey shit. All around here. Motherfucker, all over that driveway. Fuck, you can't. You can't do nothing without stepping in a damn pile of donkey shit. Anyway, I want you guys all to look at all these beautiful mountains around here. I mean, they are beautiful. That's the only thing I felt that I liked. Motherfucker, it's so hot in the Fry your ass. Gran, look! What? There's a G on that mountain for Granny. A G? How? That's a fucking antenna! Like a radio! No, I'm talking about the G! They ain't no G up! Uh, motherfucker, if they ain't. Son of a bitch. Right below that fucking tower up there. And that's probably how the damn aliens are talking to everybody and knowing exactly what's going on. They put my fucking initial up there on it. Motherfuckers. They knew you were coming, Granny. They must have known something. A fucking G. Son of a bitch. And I want you to look. I like to know what the fuck's in that. Motherfucker. I'm gonna go see. It's a garage, Son of Granny. A bitch. It ain't no fucking garage. Like a damn shed or something. See what the fuck. I can't get in that motherfucker. They locked it. They put a fucking padlock on it. They probably got my fucking cow in there. If I know they did, I'd find me something and I'd beat that fucking lock off and I'd get in there and I'd see if my cow was in there. Son of a bitch. And then look over there and they got that little fucking run down shitty ice shed. Even got a big S on it for shit. Reckon that's where they're piling all their damn shit. Look at this fucking pile of rocks they got here. Son of a bitch. Motherfucker. And look around here. I ain't been around here yet. But I'm going around to see. Look, they got that fucking thing right there. What's, what do they call that shit? Sagebrush and shit in it. Motherfucker. I'm going to sit down on my eyes. And I want you to look through here. Just, just fucking look. All these cars and every shit and thing else have been in bed, uh, in bed uh, well, you know what the fuck I'm trying to say? Abandoned? People, yeah. That damn... Some people just get rid of their shit any way they can and throw it on anybody's damn property. Look at them damn run damn fucking ice trailers. I don't know what that fucking thing over there is. It's hid behind the damn hill halfway. But there's all kinds of trucks in front of it. Even got a big trailer across the road. Fuck. And that building way over there. Yeah, you know what that building is, Granny? No, I don't know what it is. That building over there is, uh, oh, by the way, for the people wondering, we're staying in Goldfield. I think that's how you pronounce it, Goldfield. Yeah, Gold, and Goldfield. this is supposed to be like one of the most haunted ghost towns in the world. And that hotel over there, 
I don't, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Oh, right there where I'm trying to point. But it's that big building right there. That's one of the most haunted hotels in the world. And I don't know the origin story of it, but I know that there was a lot of murders there. So, oh, fuck! Globally acclaimed ghost hunters have called the Goldfield Hotel in Goldfield, Nevada, the most haunted place in America. Well, the hotel is up for sale. Its owners are asking close to $5 million. Now, it has a rich history, including being the biggest building in that town 120 years ago. Now, we have the full story of its history on our website right now, 8newsnow.com. So I do know tomorrow I want to go there with Granny and ghost hunt. You could go all the fuck you want to. I don't give a damn. You go in any place you want to. That's one place I'm not fucking going in. Come on, Grin. You had fuck a good... no, I'm not going to do it. You had a good time in Petros. I did. When we were ghost hunting, so why not... But do... I don't know them damn people. I don't know them. I don't... Fuck no, you ain't getting my fucking ass in there. I can tell you that right off the fucking reel. Well, my thing is, what's up with, I, I mean, on the way here, we passed like a million abandoned things. Why are Cars, they abandoned? trucks, trailers, everything thrown on the sides of the road. I don't know. The owners probably got abducted and uh, the aliens just destroyed them. Motherfuckers. I'm going to find out tomorrow. We're supposed to go to Area 51 tomorrow, and by fuck, I'm going to find out. Me and Jake, Jake looked out the window, and he said, Granny, what is it? I said, that's a jet. He said, what's a jet doing that low? I mean, he was low. He was literally said, about eye level. He was like there. I said, I don't fucking know what he's doing. It honestly and didn't then, even look like a jet. It was a jet. And then we go down the road, come down the road a little farther, and son of a bitch, we look, Jake said, look, Granny, look! And it looked like a, I, honest to God, it looked like a fucking flying saucer up in the sky. Come over the fucking he mountain. And I said, oh, bullshit. And then all of a sudden, it was gone. Even listen, right now. Don't you hear that? It almost sounds like a plane, but you don't see nothing or anything. You hear it? Yeah, I sure do. I wonder if the mic's picking it up. You don't see any jets or anything, but you can hear something in the sky. I can hear it, but I can't fucking see it. It's back that way somewhere. Or and you, then what about when we got out? Or are you farting? It ain't me farting, motherfucker. And uh, what about when we got almost here? We looked at this bright light. I mean, it was a bright light. Come right up over the mountain. Yeah, that was weird. And then we looked again. It was way over here. And I said, I kept looking for it. And I said, Jake, it's called. He said, no, it ain't ready. Look there. And it was way over here, and then all of a sudden it just disappeared. I don't know what's going on in, uh, going on around here. I don't fucking know, but I'm going to find out. I'll get me a fucking good night's sleep, because I ain't had no fucking sleep or nothing else. I'll find out tomorrow what the fuck's going on around here. We're going over there and go through that ghost town. But I'm not going in that fucking hotel. And then uh, we're supposed to go down the road and check out Area 51 or a few more things, whatever. Whatever in the fuck we run into, because we done run into enough to suit me already. What is that? What the hell? You see that damn light? There's two of them. They're coming down through there to fucking fly. Hey, there's three! Motherfucker! I hope the camera's picking that up. I don't know what the hell that is. Now the... Fuck, they stopped back there. It ain't Christmas. See, they stopped. It ain't Christmas yet. 
But fuck, I said that's a Becca force up. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Fuck, there's more than two of them. Look at them. Hey, there comes a bunch more. What are those? Motherfucker. I don't know what the fuck they are. But they just keep coming. Son of a bitch, they're like their own dirt box or something. But they're sure after something or somebody. What the hell stuck my life with this damn bush? And they're still coming down through there. Wait a minute, Granny. Is it possible that it is a dirt bike? Huh? Is it a dirt bike? They look like dirt bikes, but they're after... Hey, look, look! They're coming this way. Whole fucking... No, they're all... No, they're not all dirt bikes. They're not dirt bikes. They're coming out this way. I tell you. Wait a minute, Granny. It looks like they're coming at us. There's seven or eight of them. You know what, guys? I'm going to fuck in the house. Cause if, oh, fuck, there's another one. It makes nine. I'm going in the fucking house before they get out of that road. Oh, God bless it. Motherfucker, they're getting too damn close for comfort. For me, I'm going in. Where you going? I'm, I'm going in the fucking house if I make it, cause they ain't gonna get my, catch my eyes out here. Fuck no. Oh. Hell no. They're coming on around. Fuck way back up. Motherfuck hell no. Mm -mm. They must have found something, seen something, done something. They probably see the the big G on that mountain. Oh fuck! Look at them. Fuck yes. Fuck it. Fuck that sidewalk. Mother fuck. Son of a bitch. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. But I can tell you one motherfucking thing. And I'll tell you straight. I'm going to Area 51. And I'm going to find out what that motherfucker's done with my fucking cow. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Cause Granny is going to go hide when I hear them start coming down the fucking road. I am sweating my fucking eyes off. So I'm this is to Goldfields Town. Yeah, look back down through there. All that shit. Hey, there's a school bus over there. Yeah, I imagine you might see two or three damn fucking school buses. I wonder where the school's at around here. Fuck, I don't know. What the hell is that thing? It looks like a damn conveyor belt. I don't know what they used it for. The fucker. Wagon tours. Pioneer territory. They say they're closed. Fuck. Windows broke out. Looks like that one window's been shot out. Motherfucker can't go in there and look around. Private property, no trespassing. Oh, well, come on. Jake, think of the war ice is in jail. Fuck. Wait, I hear something in there. It don't matter. Granny, there's an owl right there. An owl? Where? Where? Oh, yeah, I see. That's a fucking statue. Shit. My old fucking back of hurting. And can't see a fucking thing. All of it's private property. And I'll be damned if I'm going to get to jail now. Because I want to go to Area 51. I want to find my fucking cow. There's even a fucking porter potty. That must be where they t used to take their shits at and everything. No wonder it smells like fucking shit and piss out here. Son of a bitch, it stinks. Damn. I would have at least emptied the motherfucker before I set it out there. Motherfuck. This place, I don't know. Fuck you, Kate. Oh, yeah. You're in whatever the fucking name of it is. 
but you can't do nothing to walk down the middle of the fucking street. Granny, you should have went in that hotel and saw if we could get one of them ghost tours. We can't go in that damn thing. They have no trespassing signs all over and have it. They have it blocked off, motherfucker. I ain't going to jail. Motherfucker, look at that damn car. I told you I seen a car buried in the fucking thing and shit run all over it. Is that trying to be a drawing of a fucking alien up there at the top? Fuck that. Look out this shit down here. Look at them. Motherfucker. How'd they get here? Aliens, motherfucker. Aliens have done it and put shit all over it where nobody can't understand what's going on. And they say they ain't no damn aliens. Bull fucking shit. Look at that bus up yonder. Look at it. I don't know what that is next to it. Looking like a car propped up against a post. And shit all over it. I don't think these people are, are allowed to park here. They ain't parked here, dumbass. Look, look at the cars. Tell me how the cars are standing. Son of a bitch. Wait a minute, Granny. Isn't that John... Ain't that some... Who is that? Isn't that Clint Eastwood or John Wayne? Maybe you might have a lot in common with the aliens, Granny. Hell no, that ain't him. You both are a fan Who of westerns. Who the fuck is that? That's John Wayne. It ain't John Wayne. You and the aliens have something in common. You both like western cowboys. Never 20, I don't know if that's 21 or what a fuck, Tubby. Who in the fuck's Tubby? Son of a bitch. What's on that fucking side? A bunch of damn shit. Hi, damn. What the fuck? Death trap. So, told you it was fucking aliens. Told you that's what it was. Told you that's who done it. Oh no, fuck no. Where's the wheels? Now how the fuck am I supposed to know what they done with the wheels? Son of a bitch, there's tires laying all over, but you can't put them damn tires on them cause they, fuck it. It's like trying to explain anything to you. Oh motherfucker, oh hell. Hello. Well, you was wrong about that. You had me shitting in my pants. Security. Motherfucker, I ain't ready to go to fucking jail. Have you ever seen any aliens around here? What'd she say? It's her first time popping through. Oh, hers too. Hey, I think she may have known something. I do too. She acted. She just didn't well, tell it. Hell, they got that down there buried with a whole ice stuck up. And that looks like a smiley face or a moon, hype moon or something on it. Only thing I can't figure out what it is. See that thing right yonder? Yeah. I, I can't make out what the fuck that is. Kind of looks like a Pringle. A Pringle? Yeah. What the fuck's a Pringle? Looks like a chip on top of it. A oh, giant fuck. chip. Bullshit. They spend some funny fucking shit going on around here and everything. Oh, hey, am I seeing right or am I seeing wrong? Look that thing right straight from me. Got a ball on top of it. What's that look like somebody's in it? Yeah, I don't know what that is. It looks like somebody's in it, don't it? A little bit. The fuck it don't? Son of a bitch. Ain't somebody in that fucking ball. They put somebody in that damn ball. 
I like to know how to stand it up there like that. Son of a bitch. Oh, motherfucker. Granny. What? Where's all the bus seats? Probably got tore out. They probably tore the motherfuckers out. Where the hell are we supposed to sit? On the fucking floor, I guess. Where in the fuck did they get all this? Son of a bitch. I don't know. They even got fuck. a they got a Bigfoot sticker up there, Gran. Where? Right there. Right there. Oh, hell yeah. Tell him I'm coming. What the fuck? Then it says it again. Huh? Then it says it again. Yeah. Motherfucker. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Son of a bitch. Motherfucker, they sure done a fucking job on this, didn't they? Then there's a picture up above my head of two guys fighting. That one little guy just knocked the fuck out of that other guy. I think it's about time we leave. I'm sitting here burning my fucking ice off and everything, and if we're going to Area 51, let's fucking go. Cause I'd be damn if I could take his heat. It ain't that hot, Son Granny. Of a bi the fuck it ain't. I'm burning my ice up. Let's just look at a few more. I'm through looking. I ain't looking no fucking more. We could probably hotwire one of these cars. Oh, motherfucker, hotwire my eyes. Son of a bitch. I'm going to get in a fucking car where I can get some dark, damn, dead, damn air. Why the fuck you pull over for? I don't, th I didn't pull over. I think we ran out of gas. Oh, motherfucker. Son of a bitch. Now what the fuck are we going to do? Sit here and die? Do you have any uh, gas in your um, purse? Fuck no. Fuck. That's a stupid... Hell yeah, I got a gallon in my damn pocketbook. There's, there's, what the fuck would I do with gas in my pocketbook? There's gas and lighters. Motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. Son of a bitch. Come at me with that stupid... Fucking shit. Son of a bitch. Granny, maybe we can find something out here. Maybe we can find some what gas. What the fuck are you going to find out here? You ain't going to find a damn thing out here. We could find gas. Bullshit. What are these? Now, what the fuck you think they are? The fireworks. Well, what the hell are you going to use fireworks for? You don't need fucking fireworks. Hey, maybe this. What the fuck? Maybe this is thing that works. guys. Is that guys, motherfucker? No, but maybe we could like get it. Throw that fucking thing down. Get us stranded out here with rattlesnakes, scorpions, and every damn thing else, and then hotter than fucking hell. Even ha bottles of shit laying out here, and every fucking thing else. This is all fucking bullshit. I should have known that better. Should have known fucking better to even start out with you this morning till you got gas. Motherfucker. Well, maybe there's a gas station over them hills, Granny. You go walk that fucking far cause I sure the fuck ain't. Son of a bitch. Well, what do we do? I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I'm fucking leaving. And if you don't get something, figure out something, I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna start hitchhiking. And you motherfucker are on your own. Son of a bitch. I know that I, know that I need my 
fucking head examined, everything else, to even start out with you knowing that you was low on gas and you hadn't stopped and got the son of a bitch motherfucker getting in here where I could get this fan a little bit. Motherfucker. Strand me out here on this fucking desert in 110 degrees. Son of a motherfucker. Fuck. Well, think of it this way, Granny. It could be a lot worse. How? Well, at least we have each other. What fucking good that gonna do us? Huh? What fucking good that gonna do us right now? I suggest you get your ass out there. You start thumbing a ride. Go get some fucking guys. And I'm gonna sit here in the fucking car. Which one is it? It's that big one. She's running now. She fucking don't recognize me. That's my fucking cow. Where in the fuck are they going? They're not going to let me close to them. Motherfucker, I found my cow and she won't come to me. She don't fucking remember me. Granny, we wouldn't be able to take it with us anyways. Fuck, we figure out something. They done something to my motherfucking cow. And I'm going to find out what it is. Because she don't fucking remember me. They was about to size of, she was about to size of her baby back there when they abducted her. She don't fucking remember me. Where the hell is she going? Fuck her. I don't know where she's going. They got her brainwashed. Son of a bitch. And now she won't have nothing. Nothing to do with me. I won't find out. I'm going to find out what that motherfucker's done to my cow. There's cow shit all over the fucking place. Watch in front of you because there's a big pile there. Motherfucker. Susie! Get back here! Bring out babies, you bitch! You're leaving your babies! They're trying to hide! Susie, come here! Moo! She's going out the fucking middle of the road and she takes her babies behind her, but they're not. Well, there they go. They'll follow her. They won't get out of her sight. Motherfucker! Don't leave your babies back there! Son of a bitch! Granny, those cows are looking at you over there! Look behind you. But that's my cow. I don't care about them other cows. I see them cows. I see that cow over there shitting too. Shitting a big gob. <laughs> yeah, my cow just went across the road. And oh God, I hope her babies don't follow her. One of them's way back there, but one of them's caught up with her almost. She stopped in the middle of the road. She stopped. She stopped. Come out here. Find my fucking cow. And she's got two babies that she won't let me near. So what? Oh, motherfucker. You know what? Fuck you, Susie. Fuck it. Son of a bitch. They done something to my cow that she's not recognizing me. See her standing there looking. Yeah, she's thinking. Too late now, Susie. You done ruined it. Motherfucker. They done something to my cow. They brainwashed her. That's what the fuck that motherfucker's done. They brainwashed her. Made her forget every fucking thing she knowed. Stupid ass motherfuckers. Brainwashed my damn cow, them assholes. They got a lot on they're signaling somebody that we're here. So, let's go. Oh, motherfucker. That's something they use to signal the aliens with. That's like a cellular paddle or something, as they call it. Motherfucker. I'm getting the fuck out of here. That light's still on. They're going to catch our ISIS. They're going to lock us up. Fuck that.
Motherfucker. Bullshit. What is it out here for? They gotta catch me. What? What's it out here for? The signal. The aliens. What I said. And that fucking light up there is still going. It's son of a bitch. Let's go for the damn uh, county mountains come and get our ISIS. Get in the car! What? Get in the fucking car! Jake, come here, hurry up! I'm coming! How do you get my camera? Fuck! It's an extraterrestrial fucking highway sign. Look at it! That's badass! Yeah. We gotta put our sticker on there. Can you help me up? Fuck you! Help me help me put our sticker on there! Fuck that shit. There ain't no way I get your damn big ass up there. And oh yeah, look at the area 51. It says we're in area 51. You believe that shit? No, area 51's down that road. Down what road? That road, over there. That road? Motherfucker. All right, we'll put one here. Yeah. All right. All right, Granny, let me on your shoulders. I want to put up one on the top. Fuck you, you can reach that motherfucker. Come on, Gran. Hell with you. I'll put you, I'll, I'll pick you up, I'll lift Get you. Get up, Byron, do it. Can you let me pick no, you up? No, fuck no. I'll lift you, you put it. I'm gonna pick you up right now. Oh. Lift it, Gran! I can't. <laughs> lift it! I can't. Granny! I can't get. Yo. You can't climb that motherfucker. Ow! Get the fuck off of there. Told you you couldn't climb the damn fucking thing. Reach all the way up there and put that on there. Right below that white one right there. Now can you reach up and hit it again? One more time. I twisted my ankle. Fuck! One more fucking time. Granny, I'm hot. <coughs> this should do it. Ah. He got it. Yeah, hey. Oh, my back. back. Fucker got it. Oh. I'm going to the fucking motherfucking car. I'm dying here. No fucking shit. It's about 120 degrees out here. <sighs> Son of a bitch, I'm burning the fuck up. All right, hey, what's up, you guys? You guys are probably wondering where's the Area 51 footage and, you know, what the hell happened? Well, the last thing you guys saw was the extraterrestrial highway sign. And then what happened when the camera was off is we went right to this alien gas station and we got us a few things to drink and everything. And then we asked the gas station attendant where Area 51 is because when you look it up on Google Maps, it doesn't give you directions like it's it's pretty much damn near impossible to find for me at least and I try to do research but evidently I was doing something wrong so I asked the lady like hey where's it at and what did she tell us it was like in the backyard or something she said you go right down here to the start road yeah and make a right right you drive until you see a dirt road on the left yeah and uh, so we got down to the dirt road, and naturally I can't remember shit. So me and Jake was talking. Uh, did she say left or did she say right? Yeah. So we went we went down the correct way to get to Area Fifty One. Yeah. But we came to like a crossroads where we have to turn left or turn right, and I'm bad with directions, and you're bad with directions. Yeah. So. We we kind of had like a eeny, meeny, miny situation. Yeah. So we ended up going with left. 
And so we kept, well, my logic was either way you go, you should end up at the border of Area 51 because right. I thought regardless, I know we're safe because we will get to the border of it where we would see the gate and everything like you see in the YouTube vlogs of people going there and stuff. So that was my logic. So we ended up going left and we kept on for a good hour or two. And then we started noticing it just, something didn't feel right. Like the roads were super friggin' narrow where, or narrow, sorry where you wouldn't you, like if there was another car coming you wouldn't be able you to you would be fucked right because there was no way that they could get by you and from the videos that i've seen of people visiting area 51 that did not look right to me so i'm like i don't know what the hell is going on and granny you you wanted to turn around <laughs> and i told jake i said jake we need to turn around right now and go the fuck back did he listen to me? Hell no. Because he I, said, let's go on a little farther, Granny, and see what we could see if we could see those signs she told us to look for. He says, I got a feeling it's just right up here. And they were though, technically. Yeah. So we got we we kept on, we kept on, and I told you that, yeah, I, I'm down to turn around and uh, go back and see if she would write out the directions. But at that point, there was no way to turn around. Like I said, the roads were so narrow. And it, it one little, uh, you know, turnaround or whatever, you'd end up falling down this, like, cliff. Yeah. So it just was not worth it. So I'm like, at this point, we got to keep on trucking. <laughs> so we ended up coming up to the signs. It said, uh, what What did it say? It said, uh no drones on yeah, that's one right. site. And then it said no trespassing. And I thought, right. okay, that's that's the that's signs. That's it. That's what she told us. So I thought, hell yeah, we're going the right way. And so we kept on for a good other like 30 minutes. Then uh, next thing I know, I look in my rear view uh, mirror and I see the camo guys. And that's basically the people, uh, the military men who run security in Area 51. The security forces that guard Area 51 are known by many names and for many things, but courtesy has never been one of them. That's never been their job. The so-called camo dudes who lurk on hilltops and pounce on anyone who crosses the line into the base. And they start kind of surrounding us a little bit and telling us to get out of the car and just start screaming. And I look over at you and you couldn't even, you didn't even, I don't even think you knew they were behind us. And... No, I didn't. <laughs> and I... I I, 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 I rolled down my window to hear what they're saying, and they're yelling at us to get out of the car, put your hands out, and get out of the car. And that's when I looked over at you and said, Granny, we're in trouble. <laughs> so I opened the car door and put my hands up and get out of it. And at that point, I, I realized how much trouble we're in because I see that they have guns and everything. And Granny's yep. still in the car, and they're yelling at her to get out. So, <laughs> yeah, right. So... As they're sitting there yelling out orders to Granny, I have to re-say it so she could hear it. So I had to like tell her, like, Granny, get out of the car, put your hands up. We're gonna we're in trouble. And you eventually get out of the car and still don't know what's going on. <laughs> they wanted well, you to face the opposite way, but you look right at them. You damn right I did. And that's when I uh, ended up turning around because I I was nervous that because I knew you couldn't hear them and I knew you wouldn't be able to follow like the directions because you couldn't hear what they were saying. Right. So that's when I turned around and I realized they had that gun pointed at you. And that's when I, at that point, I, my instincts kicked in and I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is my absolute worst nightmare. And I tried to tell them like, hey, put the gun on me. This is my grandma. I, I, I don't know what we did wrong or anything, but please just don't put the gun on her pointed at me. Yep. And they ended up uh, just yelling at me to turn around and everything. And I think they ended up not even pointing the gun at you after that. Right. I At that point, I, I'm not sure. But then they came up and handcuffed both of us. And we ended up talking to them for a second. They actually ended up knowing who we were from YouTube and everything. We ended up finding that out later on. But 
I asked the people, you know, I'm like, did we do something wrong? What's going on? And they're like, <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. We were seven miles inside of Area 51. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't make it to the border. We were inside fucking Area 51, seven miles inside of it. Yeah. We had not a damn clue. Of what was going on. And then, and then it, we looked up, and there was two more white trucks before. There was three white trucks of them. They had the whole damn military there. <laughs> man, oh man. And I told him, the one that was watching me, I told him, I said, you got to speak a little louder or whatever. I said, because I cannot hear you. And I was just trying to make make it known that this was uh, an accident and we did not know what the hell we did wrong and everything. And we were, were just YouTubers. We were just coming to explore Area 51. We wanted to go to the border, you know? Yep. And they ended up checking our vehicle top to bottom for guns or Ever. anything. Bike. They went through our phones. They went through our photos. They went through my camera equipment. What did they find in your uh, phone, Grand? <laughs> uh, I told them. I said, now, when you go through my pictures on my phone, I said, you're going to find some dirty ones. I mean, dirty ones. Now, describe what the picture is, Granny, in the best way you can. It was a picture of this, he was kind of a uh, uh, fucking uh, weightlifter or whatever you want to call him. He was a big man, and he had a a hot dog, a uh, uh, doggy dog, and I bet you that damn thing was that long, and I called him Big Dick Hanna. And, and to beat it all, they had put my face on it, and I'll tell you, just that damn Shelby. My granddaughter, and I told her I was going to beat her to take, if she didn't take it off, I don't know shit about a phone, I thought she had took it off, but oh no, she left that damn thing on there. And well, they seen it. And everybody seen the damn thing. I said, oh well. And just, just, everything was going so wrong, and... While we were sitting there waiting for the sheriff, because, yeah, they called the sheriff. He was coming. Yep. While we were sitting there waiting, uh, I was sitting in that damn hot sun. That's why I'm so sunburned right now for that whole time till the sheriff got there for uh, maybe like, <laughs> how long did it take till he got there? I bet you we was there for about three hours. We spent three hours inside of Area 51, seven miles in it. And he stood out in the hot sun and everything. Well, they took my handcuffs off and raised the trunk of the car and... Uh, let you have a cigarette. <laughs> and let me have a smoke all I wanted to. And let me sit down with my legs hanging out the back they, of the car. They were really cool people. And, and I want to make that known right now. They were just doing their jobs and I totally understand if I was in that situation like them, they don't know who we are or what we're capable of or what the hell we're doing trespassing in the Area 51. So I totally get the reason, you know, for the whole guns and just extra protocols and everything. Yeah. But they ended up being the most nicest people in the whole world, man. And the way they treated Granny afterwards was absolutely amazing. They took the handcuffs off. They even took the handcuffs off me. And they uh, kept offering me water or if I wanted something to drink. And they were really cool guys. So we ended yep. up, uh, while we were waiting for the sheriff, I swear it was like a scene out of a damn movie. It started thundering like it was nobody's business. And it might as well have got rained on while we were in a situation like that. One of them even got, he called me granny. And, and uh, my back had started hurting, my hip started hurting me, and uh, everything. He said, what's wrong, Granny? 
Ah, uh, nothing, just old arthritis kicking in. That's what I told him. He said, oh, okay. He said, do you need anything? Nicest guy ever was to me. And then when the sheriff showed up, he was another nice guy. Literally uh, the nicest sheriff in the world. Yeah. He he deserves a damn raise. As a matter of fact, all yeah. those guys deserve a raise. Right. Um, so the sheriff comes up, starts talking to us. I think, he did he recognize us right off the bat? No. No? Well, once we told him who we are and what we do, they all recognized our who we were and our, know what we do on TikTok, YouTube, and everything. And it seemed like every single one of them were fans, which was really cool. Yeah. So then the sheriff comes up, starts talking to us and everything, and let us know like the gravity of the situation and how a lot of you know bad things could come of this and everything. And he ended up uh, just giving us a, a little citation for us not knowing and everything, and just which we got off very Get lucky. Get to the true part. He give you a citation because you was driving. Yeah. He says, I'm not giving Granny one. Right. And even then, I still, we, I, I mean, I still am so grateful yep. because that could have been a lot worse. We could have ended up in, well, I could have, I guess, uh, ended up in prison yep. uh, or worse, you know, shot. And it was just a very situ, uh, it was a very serious situation. Yes, it was. And I'm grateful for the way that it ended up, you know, out turning out and everything. But after <laughs> everything was all said and done and they were letting us go. This is the fucking good part. So we're, you know, saying our goodbye, shaking hands. It was nice to meet you guys. Sorry again for this inconvenience. I'm stupid as hell. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Right. So we get in the car and I'm trying my damnedest to, you know, hit a U-turn. But like I said, that road's fucking narrow. So I had to really just pull forward, back up, pull forward, back up. And then I eventually, you know, get out of there and I wave at him, bye. And then, I, you know, the sheriff and all those military men have to follow us in their cars behind us to make sure, you know, we're exi exiting fucking Area 51. And yeah. at that time, we make it maybe five miles, you know, down the road, and I hear a loud bang. And the and then sheriff next was with us. Then uh, next thing I know, I, I hear uh, a weird, like, noise. And I'm like, Granny, do you hear that? And you said, it sounds like I have a flat tire. So then you got out of the car. And, yeah. And then what did, what did you see? Oh, that tire was shredded all to hell. I don't know how it even stayed on the rim. And we standing there and didn't know what the hell to do because I look at dumb ice here and I said, Jake, you know how to change a tire? No. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. And I know that I couldn't do it myself. <laughs> and we said, Jake said, well, we... we <laughs> We'll have to flag the first car that comes along. And, and who is lo the and behold, guess who it was behind us? The sheriff. <laughs> and he got out. And I know the poor guy couldn't keep from laughing. Because he was so damn dumb. And this is when he went above and beyond, man. Yes, he did. He took that tire off and then put on our spare and realized, <laughs> he, he even realized that the spare wasn't even filled up with enough air. After he got it off, and the poor guy, he took the spare back off, put the old one back on so the car wouldn't fall or anything. You and, know? Then, and then he told, he told me, hey, just take that in the back of my uh, truck and then you guys get in the car and I'll take you uptown. I thought, what the hell is life? What is going on right now? So I'm taking the damn tire to the back of the sheriff's car. Granny gets in the front seat with the sheriff. I get in the back with, uh, you know, how it's all caged out <laughs> yeah. of a cop car. So I'm in the back with just, I'm just very uncomfortable. It's like the, I was going to say, it's like the back of a police car. It is a bad damn police car. So, 
we uh, just kept showing our gratitude. We th thanked him a million and everything. And he's like, oh, it's all right. And to beat it all, where does he take us? <laughs> he, he takes us up and he told us, didn't know it was a bar at first. It was like an alien store, but yeah. it was also a bar. Yeah. And you can get your tire filled up there, and that's why he took us there. He said, uh, you guys uh, go on in, sit down, relax for a while, and get you something to drink and everything. Walk in there, and son of a bitch, everybody in that bar knowed who I was. And they were all three sheets to the wind. Yes, they was. Oh, we had one heck of a time. Well, the sheriff came they were, back. They were literally trying to get us to take shots in there. They asked yeah. us, why are, why are you guys hanging out with the sheriff? What'd you guys do? And then we looked at every single one of them in there. Ah, damn, we accidentally crossed the border of Area 51 and got seven miles inside of there. <laughs> they look at each other and say, that's fucking awesome. And then <laughs> yeah. they all, they were trying to buy us beer and shit. Yeah. And he and the one guy that sat next to me, he said, I love you, Grandma. He said, I'm going to buy you an Area 51 shirt. Where, where is Jake, it? Jake, get my shirt off my bed. I'll show it to him. I want to show you the back of the shirt that he bought me. And we sat there. We had a good time with those guys. Super nice guys. And uh, everything. Well, in the meantime, the sheriff had come back and he stood there at the door and he was like, Can you just read it? What it says? Area 51, warning, restricted area, deadly force, deadly force authorized. And we and, found that out the hard way. Uh, yeah. At, Let's come just a little late. But uh, the sheriff come back. He asked us, was we ready to go? We said, yeah. So we went out and got the truck with him. He took us back to the car. Bless his heart. He changed the tire again. And then he, he even went as far as to say, because we're, we were about three hours away from our Airbnb and it was getting nighttime. We were like, she's not exaggerating. We were in Area 51 for like five three, hours. Uh, yeah. We were there from yeah. like five o'clock to 10 o'clock at night. So we're, we're heading back late at night. And he said, because the roads out here I don't know if it's everybody's cell phone or what, but mine and yours acts up where it'll just come up SOS and you can't call, you can't text nobody, nope. you can't do shit. No. I mean, it was even like that for us in Tennessee. Yeah. So he said once we get back to our Airbnb to send him a text and let him know that we made it or if we have any other issues, etc. And that was just cool that he was able to give me his number. The damn sheriff gave us his number to, you know, let him know that we were safe. He was literally just an angel sent from heaven. Yeah. But this is, this part that you're about to tell, I am not proud of. Wow. After he changed the tire. How I was heading back up to Area 51 on accident, didn't even know it. Yeah, Jake uh, got turned the fuck around and started back where we to were. Area 51 where we just left. <laughs> and finally, I, he, he just stopped. He just stopped. Because I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, wait a minute, Grant, I think we're going fucking back in fucking Area 51. And, and the sheriff pulled up the side of us and he One was way. just dying of life. And, and he hollered at Jake. Since you're going the wrong way, you turn right here <laughs> and go straight down and you'll hit the main highway. What would those military guys have done if they... Oh, the sheriff wouldn't let us made it. He would have run us down I before know, we had it. I know, but Jesus. <laughs> That'd have been some shit. They would have thought like... They would have, they would have shot us probably. <laughs> they would have shot us probably this time. Hey, everybody. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here. At the alien 
Center. If you want to find you some cool stuff and everything, come on by and check it out. I got this bottle. I think it's supposed to be alcohol. It's an alien fucking drink. I don't know what the shit taste is like, but I'll find out in about five fucking minutes. I'll let you fucking know. Fuck you. Oh my God! What's wrong? Oh, it's burning my fucking tongue out of my mouth. Son of a bitch! Mmm. What's it taste like? Oh motherfucker! You want to drink of the damn shit? Huh? You want to drink of the fucking shit? Find out what it fucking tastes like. What it oh, tastes like? Oh, motherfucker, my mouth's on fucking fire. It's on fucking fire. Motherfucker. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I have never tasted nothing like that before. Even fucking moonshine don't taste that fucking bad. Oh, son of a bitch. Let's go, Jake. You're going to have to get me in the car so I can get me something to drink. Get this shit and taste, fucking taste out of my mouth. Mmm. It's burning my mouth. Well, Granny, we are in Vegas. What do you fucking do? Time of fucking night. Let the fans know what time it is right now, Granny. Fuck, I don't know what time it is. It's about 12 o'clock, I guess. <laughs> I figured we'll stay out till at least morning. Fuck that shit. Where in the fuck is Wayne Newton? What are you talking about? Where does he usually at? Who? Wayne Newton. What makes you think Wayne Newton's out here, Gran? He's always the fuck out here. Doing what? Whatever in the fuck he wants to do. And you tell me where the damn casino is, uh, is at. I ain't seen a fucking one. Granny, they're all casinos. They all shit. It's hotter than hell. Lord have mercy. Hey guys! Yeah? Come here. Yes, ma'am. I want to ask you a question. What's the question? Where in the hell is Wayne Newton? I, can I tell thought you. I thought he hung he stayed at some damn uh casino out here. No idea. Granny, I thought Wayne Newton passed away. Hell no, motherfucker. He not dead yet. <laughs> Stupid ass. Go check out Thunder from Down Under. But I might like that. Really? Yeah. Uh, is that a male or female? Oh, it's a bunch of males. You might like it. Oh, hell yeah. You get the name of it? What's it called again? Thunder, Thunder from Down, Down Under. Under. Thunder from Down Under. Yeah. You want to go there, Gran? Hell yeah, we'll go and get drunk. Well, Grant, how did you like Vegas last night? Not worth the fucking shit. How come? Fucking traffic was bumper to fucking bumper. You couldn't find a damn thing. But we found a few casinos and went in there and I lost every fucking dime I had. 
couldn't hardly walk down the damn sidewalk. They was people walking all the fuck over. We about got stuck in a fucking elevator. Now you ask me how the fuck I like bacon's. Bullshit. Well, at least we got home at a decent time. Yeah, five o'clock in the motherfucking morning. At the fucking decent hour. I didn't Had our rights lost in our didn't know where in the fuck we was at or where we was going or nothing the fuck else. Yeah, me and Jake was getting in line at McDonald's and believe it or not, a fucking prostitute walked up to us and asked us, did we want to go have a good time? I th Do I look like I want to go have a good time, motherfucker? Bullshit! You better mark your ass on down the road, honey. Of all damn things. But it wasn't, it wasn't uncommon, because every time you turned the damn corner, they was about five or six of them standing there. You see this right here, Jake? Yeah, what is that? That was their damn toilet. That was their shit house. Well, we got about the shit or piss or anything else, that's where we had to go. That's where I was at that night that I heard something outside of it. And I come out and I looked up the hill. There was a mountain right behind us. And I swear to God, I see Bigfoot going up it. That looks like the outhouse where Shrek took a shit. You know, in the movie? Yeah. Yeah, he did have one something like that, didn't he? I wonder what his shit looks like, Granny. Fuck, I don't know. I wouldn't want to know either what his shit looks like. Did you see that tub right there? Which one? The round one with the one on the bottom of it. Yeah, what about it? That's what my mom used to put water in and give me baths. Why didn't you just go in a bathtub? We didn't have a fucking bathtub, I so where in the hell, why in the hell would you have a bath? You went outside to shit, we didn't have no running water. What the fuck? This, I know what, That's a pump. Yeah, I was about to say, I recognize what that is. That's a pump. Hey, Gran, look what I found. A tail rock, put it back, Jake. Shit. Look! Put it back! All right! Fuck! Root, two room miners cabin. That were two miners that worked in the mine around here. Stayed. You can see their bed in there and everything. Look through it. Yep. That ain't a fucking bed. That's no, there's a bed in there. Look through it. Yeah, there's a bed and a thing to sit on and a tub to wash in. Where's the toilet? Motherfucker. What? Jake, I'm going to sit down on my ass because I'm hurting too bad to sit here and argue with you over this stupid fucking shit. Whoa, Granny, look in there. It's like an old store. I think that's where you would get alcohol. It is the store. It was a camp store. They ain't got no fucking Tennessee moonshine. Do they have fireball? Fuck no! That shit wasn't heard of then. Moonshine's about the only thing you heard of back then. Fuck. I know that red uh, tobacco, people used to buy that. Prince Albert and uh, roller cigarettes. That's how they had cigarettes back then, too. You didn't buy them by the pack. Why is there liquor in there? It was a damn bar. I know, but how is it still there? Cause the bottles were fucking empty. What's this thing, Granny? Hell, I don't know. Read on it right there and see. I can't see it from here. It looks like part of a robot's arm. It tells you right there on that paper what it is. It looks like part of a robot's arm. It ain't you, no fucking robot arm. What's that? What? 
I don't know what the fuck you're picking up, and I don't care what you're picking up. You're going this. to pick up something in a minute that you ain't going to want a hold of. It's fucking rocks. Oh, fuck, Jake. What? I've got to go. i got to go. i got to go. What? i got to go. Shit. Where are you going? I'm going. What the fuck? I'm going to shit. Where? Where? I'm going to that toilet, motherfucker. What toilet? Now, how many toilets have you seen out here? Granny, you can't go in that outhouse. It's part of the museum. You watch me. I'll leave them a pile of shit. Granny, you can't. Fuck, I can't if I get there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold it or not. Where in the hell are we at, Jake? Turn around and look at that sign, Granny. Clown Motel. Yeah, this is where we're staying tonight. Bullshit. What? I can stay here, this motherfucker. Why, Gran? You don't see no hardly nobody else here, do you? Don't even know if it's people that's here or gone. What do you mean, gone? What do you mean? Fuck that. What do you mean gone? Left. Wait a fucking minute. What's that shit over there? All around there. What is that? What is that shit? It's a cemetery. M uh, motherfucker, I ain't saying it. It's probably they get the guests to check in and they kill the racists during the night. Fuck you. I ain't staying. Look at all that motherfucking graves and everything else. These people over there fucking walk around and I hate fucking clowns in the first place motherfucker I ain't staying here fuck that shit see they're already leaving they're getting out leaving motherfuck wonder where the fuck they think they're going hell you couldn't make me, pay me enough fucking money to stay in this motherfucking place all night. There ain't no fucking way. They ain't no fucking way. Holy fuck. You know what? I, 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 no, fuck no, I ain't walking through this goddamn place. Fuck this, Jake. I ain't going no further. I'm not walking through a graveyard at dark. Hell no. Fuck no. They ain't no fucking way. Shit, no. I wait on no your ass over here to steps and if I look up and see that you disappeared, motherfucker, you better throw them damn car keys as far as you can, cause my ass is out of here. That'll be one time that old granny will get under the fucking wheel and I will leave your ass. You think I won't? Try me. Granny, what's that over there? Fuck. I, I don't know and I don't want to know what the fuck it is. I told you I'm not going over there. Hell with it. I'm getting my fucking ice out of here. I can tell you that right now. Fuck this shit. Hell oh, no. Oh, look. It's one of the clowns. Where? Right there. Where? In that car. That car? Yeah. Oh, L fuck no. Let's get out of here. No. I'm no. leaving you. I love Some you. Sort of shit. Motherfucker. Oh, fuck no. Hell no. No. Fuck no. Go over and look through that fucking window and see what it looks like. Shit. Nope. Hey, hey, Granny, that clown looks pretty nice. Fuck. Fuck you and that clown, too. You know how I feel about clowns any fucking way. Son of a bitch. Motherfucker. Fucker. What room did he put us in? I th it's upstairs. What room number is it? 202. There's 210. There's 222. Where the fuck room are we in? There's 211. You said 202. Where the fuck did he put us? 
How am I supposed to know? Fuck this. I don't give a fuck. I ain't staying. I'm not staying. I'm not staying. I'll sit right here on this in this chair all fucking night, but I'm not going in that motherfucking room. Can't even find it. Hell no. There you go, Grant. Let me take a picture with you with that. No, thank you. Hell no. Motherfucker. What have you got me into? Son of a bitch. Fuck yes. Hell no. No. Fuck no. I remember that that up Jack's Jack like Jack in the oh, Box when I was a kid. I do remember the Jack in the Boxes. Yep. Oh my gosh, the the clown cookie jar. Yeah. We have one of those. Oh. Wow. That painting of that clown kind of looks like the one I painted. What? That one. That one right there probably be no. That probably be it. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> why why do you say that? Look at the ears. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Oh yeah. That red one's pretty. Yes, she is. Granny. Some of them are kind of freaky, but some are really pretty. Right. Granny, you want that one. He's asking for it. He I like real. this alien one here. Turn alien the light one. on the night and see mm -hmm. that? that yeah. 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 The little alien one? Yeah. He's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Granny, this one looks like it wants a hug from you. Oh, it definitely. And it's smiling. Well, he could just yeah, walk. it's smiling, Granny. Yeah, yeah he could just walk, Katie. But you know, you might have to pay for some dental work on him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's probably got bad breath. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's actually sweet. That's, what? Made, that's made out of Legos. Yeah, it is. There's all kinds of cookie jars. Do you want me to get you one? No. Your birthday's coming up. I don't care if it is. I don't want one. No, thank you. Uh-uh. Do you like clowns? Nope. Got me into this damn fucking shit. I don't want to stay. Granny, it's going to be fun. Fuck. Bud my eyes. Bullshit. Son of a bitch. What the hell is that? What? I don't know. Oh, fuck no. I can't get the key out. See, that's sign. What, it's not opening? You're not even trying to open it. Can't get the key out of it. Granny, walk in. Go on, you go first. Go the fuck for you find the light before I come in that downtown place. Is there any lunchables in there? Fuck no, I was checking to see if anybody's head was stuck in there or something. Fuck you never know. Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck no, look that damn thing. Hell no. You're sleeping next to that motherfucker. Why do all the clowns look so sad? I don't know. Did you hear that floor squeaking? Ooh, I'm making sure no if I'd left a pile of shit or a head in that. Look at that damn thing. What, what the? Oh, I. Fuck. I. Look, do you. Little. Who? I can't see it. I can't either. Little. Little cloud. 
Well, that means that little motherfucker can be anywhere. Anywhere. What the hell is that? Oh, fuck. King. Little Cloud. Yeah, they got it to where you, the light switches is little pee pee. You have to tur push it up to turn it on and push it down to turn it off. Bullshit. I ain't touching that damn thing. Is anything in here? No. Tell you what, bar morning, I'm going to be the first one out of here. But what if when you give the, the guy the key, he's like, you're not allowed to leave. Bullshit, I ain't, motherfucker. You want to try and stop me? Bullshit. He seems like a real nice guy, but a lot of times them type of guys you can't fucking trust. And hell, they ain't nobody checked in here. That's why the graveyard's so full. They check in, but they don't check out. Gran. Granny. Gran. What? Granny, what? Did you I, hear something? Yeah, it sounded. It, so, it sounded like a clown. It sounded like a clown. Oh fuck no! Hell no! Mm. Fuck no! Get up, Jake. Get up now. Why? We're leaving. Maybe it wasn't. A, maybe it was you snoring. It wasn't me snoring. I wasn't snoring. I don't snore, so <laughs> get the fuck up and let's go. I'm leaving. Fuck this shit. Granny, I was kidding. If you don't get up, if you don't get your ass over here and get up and get ready to leave, I'm leaving. I'll leave without your fucking ass. Granny, I was kidding. Give this place a chance. I'm leaving. I told you the first sign my ass is out the door. I'm gone. Granny. What? See, even they're leaving. Oh, fuck no. Hell no. Mm-mm. It won't fucking lock. You know what? No, I better not grab my fucking ice. You gonna have to figure out some fucking way to lock this door. Got one hanging out here like that. I wonder where they found that one at. You think it's real? Fuck yeah, it's real. They just got it hanging upside down. Oh, fuck, that damn thing's hot. You touched oh. it? Yeah, I touched it and it's hotter than hell. Shit. You can't take a hold of that damn thing. All right, say cheese. Cheese. All right, enough to No, no. Granny didn't get it. Say cheese. Cheese. Mm, that's a fucker. What? Take it! All right, say cheese. Cheese. One more time, Granny, I didn't get it. Say cheese. I'll say cheese, all right. Take the damn picture. All right. Three, two, ten, nine, eight, you, seven, six. You know what? Fuck you. Where you going? You ain't gonna take the motherfucker no way, so fuck you. All right, Granny, say cheese. 
Say cheese. Cheese. Granny, you got to smile. Take the damn picture. You got to smile. Take the picture. Granny. <laughs> Take the fucking picture. All right, Granny, say cheese. Cheese. All right, hold on. I'm about ready to take the picture. Take the fucking picture. All right. Fuck. Wait, my Granny, back, I almost took my it. My back's hurt. I don't care if you take it or not. That's an alien vice. Oh, fuck, they got ice like we have, don't they? Holy fuck! Look at the size of that thing. I storm area 51. We did by accident. We did too, honey. Motherfucker. Look at it. How tall you think that is? About five foot? Yeah, Jake, it's about five foot. Uh-huh. Sure the fuck is. A oh, motherfucker drove all this motherfucking way, burning our fucking ice. I ain't coming back to this damn fucking place. Fuck that alien too. Son of a bitch. They could have told us it. Well, they probably didn't know that the motherfucker was closed. Son of a bitch. All that fucking way. Son of a bitch. Drive all this damn way to find this damn place and it's closed. Oh, you guys made it. Yeah. Huh? I was saying you guys made it. I wasn't sure. Yeah, we made it. Um, how, how far did you guys drive? How far would you say, Gran? Fuck, I don't know. Four hours? Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's all right. Motherfucker. I wish I had something. A ball bat, I'd go over and I'd turn that motherfucking alien. I'd tar it all to hell. Then I'd go back there and see Walt on Breaking Bad. That's their fucking trailer. They're probably back there cooking bath down and peeping out the window, laughing in our asses. Stupid ice motherfuckers. Motherfucker! If I could get up there, I'd knock your motherfucking head off. Stupid ice. Fuck, bitch. Come out of this motherfucking way. And the fucking door, right? They're closed. They're closed. Open up, you motherfuckers. Let us in. Stupid ice. You're supposed to be open to 8 o'clock. Open up. Damn you. Stupid motherfuckers. Got this goddamn motherfucking place. Can't even go in and see shit after a five hour fucking drive and everything else. You know, I feel like knocking your motherfucking head off, you stupid ass motherfucker. Son of a bitch, I paid close to fucking. Oh, fuck. It makes me so fucking mad that I can't stand it. I wish I could get a rock, throw a rock, right up there at that motherfucking head, and I hit him right in the side of the fucking head. Fuck you! I ain't coming back to this fucking center no more, motherfucker. Stupid ice motherfuckers. Why the fuck they got it for if they can't keep it open? Fuck! <laughs>